welcome to another episode of What If Disney Characters Went to Hogwarts? Question mark? The show where I sort Disney characters from a Disney animated movie into Hogwarts houses. Ta-da! Expelliarmus. In this episode, I will be sorting characters from one of Disney's more recent movies, Big Hero 6. So many characters, so much sorting to do. Let's get started. Let's start with everybody's favorite personal healthcare companion, Baymax. I'm gonna put Baymax in Hufflepuff, for sure. Baymax is such a Hufflepuff, his entire existence revolves around helping people that he loves. He's programmed literally to heal and help people. That's the huffliest, puffliest thing I've ever heard. Plus, he's literally Hufflepuffy. Next up is Hiro Hamada, our protagonist, who is definitely in Gryffindor. Hiro doesn't really take an interest in anything unless it's exciting and adventurous. He's also extremely brave. He puts himself in dangerous situations constantly. He's like, oh, masked man? Just stealing my microbots to do some evil with? I better explore without supervision, Gryffindor. His brother, however, Tadashi, may he rest in peace, is definitely in Ravenclaw. Tadashi's pursuit of knowledge has no boundaries. He will work on his inventions 24 hours a day if necessary. He just wants to create things that will help people and he's smart enough to do it, coming up with innovative solutions to everyday problems by creating marshmallow robots that can heal you. Gogo I had to think about for a second, but I would definitely put her in Gryffindor. She's obviously very smart and very loyal to her friends, but I think her main characteristic is that she's not afraid of anything. Woman up. She's always down and ready for an adventure and asks no questions. She's like, yeah, let's get in the van. Let's do this thing. Honey Lemon, however, much like Tadashi, I would put in Ravenclaw. Nothing is more exciting to Honey Lemon than knowledge. She just wants to learn and she She's so excited about chemistry, it's adorable. She thinks nothing is cooler than chemistry. And she uses it as her superpower, which is doubly amazing. I'm sure Honey Lemon does nothing with her spare time but play with chemical compounds, and that screams Ravenclaw to me. Wasabi was a difficult one for me to sort because he's definitely not a Slytherin, he's definitely not a Gryffindor. Is he Ravenclaw or Hufflepuff? I'm gonna put him in. Ravenclaw. He's very particular and organized. He has his way of doing things that he thinks is the smartest and best way. He's very innovative. He's still really creative with his inventions, but he's definitely very focused. But I don't really know on this one, so I definitely want to hear your comments down below. Is he a Hufflepuff or is he a Ravenclaw? One thing's for sure, Fred is in Hufflepuff. The whole point of Fred in the story is to be a morale booster for his friends. He cares about nothing but being a part of a team with his friends. He's there for his friends when it matters most, and he'll never desert them, even if scary stuff is happening. But please don't start spreading rumors that Hufflepuffs don't wash their underwear, because we definitely do. And then there's Alistair Cray, who in the beginning of the movie, spoiler alert, you think he's the villain, but then he's absolutely not the villain. Still. I'm putting him in Slytherin. Cray is very ambitious. He's entrepreneurial. He wants to get whatever inventions will best benefit his company and himself, to be honest. He just wants to look out for number one. He's not malicious enough to hurt people in the process, but really his priorities are himself. Professor Callahan, on the other hand, another spoiler alert, the actual villain of the movie, I'm gonna put in Hufflepuff, yeah. Hufflepuff, the house that produced the least dark wizards but did produce Professor Callahan. All of the evil stuff, all of the murder, all of the destruction, he did in order to save his daughter. Wait, is he saving his daughter or is he just doing it as revenge? Hmm, then maybe nothing, maybe it doesn't hold up. Maybe he's in some Ravenclaw. Maybe I'm switching my whole thing. I'm switching, I'm, sw I'm switching his house. I just decided he's in Ravenclaw. He's not a Hufflepuff. I thought that he was doing everything in order to save his daughter, but really he thought his daughter was just gone. He is a Ravenclaw mastermind constructing all of this amazing technology slash stealing it in order to just get revenge on the people who didn't mean to murder his daughter, but accidentally did. Evil Ravenclaw status. 100%. Hondo P. But what do you guys think? Which houses would you put the characters from Big Hero 6 in if they went to Hogwarts? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really excited to hear what you think, especially about Wasabi and Professor Callahan. If you didn't see my last episode, I sorted the characters from The Little Mermaid into Hogwarts houses, so click the link in the description box below to watch that one next. And thank you for tuning in to another episode of What Houses Would Disney Characters Be In? If they went to Hogwarts, question mark. I'll see you real soon for more Harry Potter Disney goodness. Have a great day, guys. Bye.